Hi guys, how are you? Hi. <laughs> Um, I just want to start off by saying I really thought you guys did a great job with tomorrow night's episode. I think it's some of your best acting in all nine seasons. I thought it was really, Thank really, you. really good job. Really? Yeah, we really did. We had a hard time with that episode. We were we were so nervous. It yeah. asked us to go like to a 10 again yeah. and again and again. And so we were nervous about it. So thank you. That's yeah, that's fun. kind of where I was wanted to start, actually. Like, obviously, it's such it seems like it would be such a hard episode to shoot, especially emotionally. Like, how do you guys prepare for shooting an episode like that? Like, what do you guys tap into? I mean, Mom? I think it's... Yeah, I know. <laughs> um, uh, I, think, uh, I think it's more about the, the figuring out where in the mountain you are and not because you film out of order and making sure to hit the right notes and not go too big and not have nothing left in the tank for the moments that you need it. But also to have that like simmering rage ready so that it doesn't come out of nowhere when you need it. It was hard. It was a hard episode. Was. We were so tired. <laughs> I'm still tired. Yeah. I feel like I've had like I don't know about you, but I have like 800 texts that from that week that I still haven't responded to. I'm just like, hold on. I almost want to find my phone. No, I no. Have I, I, 55 that's... unanswered text messages. Me I have. Uh, All stemming you... from that week, I'm sure. Oh, yeah, totally. Yeah. Yeah, it was, um, but, uh, you know, we, God, we got a, we got a great crew behind us and, um, We've got a couple of people on the crew that we can look to and ask, <clears throat> are we on, are, are we going in the right direction? Are we mm -hmm. on par with what we're trying we to do here? Director, she, we hadn't worked with her before and she was like, it was interesting. It's like, a, it's, a, it's a hard episode to have a new director and she was great and really helped us find, you know, our moments and, you know. And, and I'll tell you right now, she, um, I, I, I saw the director's cut and she did a couple moments where she really isolates Marina. <clears throat> and uh, you're really inside of Burgess's head. And um, it really gives you a, a, an emotional, um, kind of like the, the, the crux of the emotion that we were all trying to kind of gin up. She did a nice job, Brenna. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I know with, based on how the episode ends, of course, it seems like everything is okay now that Michaela, they end up getting Michaela back home safe and sound. But I think Adam getting off the bed after like Kim grabs for his hand at the end, like makes it clear that things are not okay between them. So where do things stand between Kim and Adam at the very end of this episode? Uh, not good. We don't officially know because we haven't seen any more scripts. Um, <laughs> oh, wait, oh, wait, no, they no, don't no. tell us anything. We did a scene, right? Didn't we do the... No, I we mean, did one. Yeah, it's, it's, not, it's not great. It's not great. <laughs> it's not great. I mean, you know, it's complicated. I mean, we, uh, they're very different people. Opposites attract. But, um, you know, what, what a complicated situation to find. To, it's not great. <laughs> That's it. Do you think it makes Adam rethink? Because obviously the plan was for them to get a bigger apartment, move in together, you know, start this modern family that they had planned to do before. Like, do you think this makes Adam rethink any, any part of that? Or is that still the plan? I think that's the plan for him. I think that he consistently um, does not live up to what she deserves and what Michaela deserves. And, uh, you know, he just, he's got his own, uh, his own emotions and his own reactions. And I think it consistently disappoints Kim. And um, am I, am I wrong, Mar? I mean. <laughs> yeah. I, you know, I think, he I think he, he's joke. trying his best, but at the same time, I think he, he, he's just not doing good enough. It, Am I saying that right? <laughs> no, yeah, totally. It's just that it's, um, you, you always joke how 
like the audience is kind of always on my side, even though you're trying really hard and like, you're like, what are you talking about? I'm moving in. I'm not sleeping with you. I'm taking care of Kayla. I like, sleep on the couch. Yeah, I sleep on a couch. I'm in my 30s. That's not good for your back. You know? <laughs> and like everyone is still like, <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, I, you know, I think, I think he, he, he desperately wants to do, do right by these people, but I think uh, his emotions get the better of him and he just, he doesn't own up to it all the time. So kind of going off of that, I know clearly, I guess you think that there's still room to go before they get anywhere romantically, but obviously we saw that like quick kiss last week when, you know, Kim tells Adam that they want the court case. So like, where do you think things stand between them on that front? Or like, do you think they need to fix the family stuff first before they can even think about that? And that was just kind of like a one-off in the heat of the moment thing. Mar. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I mean, I think that, I think he's been in love with her from since season two. So, you know, I think he's always ready um, for, for, for a, a young man to uh, put off having physical relations with with another woman as much as he has means that oh my god no, mark take over for god's sake no, it's good i mean they set you up for that up in with pico chime yeah what well, right oh that's not pico well, chime he is like tempted and doesn't go fault later on it and he may or may not fall down that rabbit hole but i think <laughs> whatever he chooses is a testament to what He's speaking about. <laughs> yeah, I just, I, I think that. I remember what we filmed just, and what he year. he want he wants this very much. I th I think that at the end of the day, it's like this is what's important to him. Uh, Burgess, Michaela, th that's what makes him go home at night. So. Yeah. <laughs> um. Now that they have Michaela back, how do we see Kim and Adam help? her work through some of her trauma because you know she's seven and she's been through quite a lot as obviously as Kim and Adam so like how do they help her work through her trauma well I think that's that's the issue that comes up next like Burgess is really intent on putting her on a different schedule to help with her nightmares and Patty is um Adam's character gosh Adam isn't as I mean that's a, probably his weakness as a person is like scheduling and being on time and uh, <laughs> And it's like it's hard for Burgess you know they're trying they're trying to keep up appearances but it's kind of breaking down yeah she's I mean she's the good parent I think Adam is like the fun parent yeah totally. <laughs> yeah and uh and so there's an impasse there yeah Gotcha. Um, and I know we're kind of running out of time, but I did want to get this one last question is because I know it's kind of been a popular fan to or topic of conversation among the fandom. I know it hasn't been too long since Kim herself was obviously kidnapped and almost died. And given the fact that we're not too far removed from that situation and the fact that like Kim and Adam are supposedly both still on the dark in the dark on everything that went down in the first part. Do you guys think that like any of that stuff that went down with Roy like cross their minds during Ki Michaela getting kidnapped or like were they so worried about Michaela that like that doesn't even cross their minds? Patty? Uh, well, I kind of wish I would thought about that. That might have made my, my performance more interesting. Um, no, I didn't think about that at all. <laughs> no, I, did, I, I wasn't thinking about that when, when we were filming this, you know, it was basically about Kim and Michaela, for me, anyway. That's fair. Yeah. I don't. I think I I put it aside. Only it, it affected me. It made me a different person, my character. But I think when your kid is kidnapped, there's like right. I don't even know that you can access like eating. Like everything becomes <laughs> well said. Yeah. yeah. Cold. Except yeah, it's 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 one thing. It's one yeah. thing, and it's one, one thing. thing. Yeah. Yeah. 